is the beginning of Paul Holes's retirement on stage at a convention, leading a deep dive discussion into the life of a suspect he spent the last 24 years hunting. Holes tells the crowd about Joseph D'Angelo's military records from the Navy starting in 1964. He did have a three day stint in which he went AWOL and was disciplined for that which is interesting. The Navy, college, and becoming a police officer. Holes helps fill out a biography that has gaps. But he wasn't after the details. He was after the suspect. Before the arrest was made and before Holes left the Contra Costa County DA's office, he drove to D'Angelo's Citrus Heights home. I take solace in the fact that before I retired, I was within 50 feet of the guy after 24 years of hunting for him. Hunting a man who raped and killed repeatedly for a decade. Hole says a clue was dropped during a rape in Davis in 1978. He's making the statement, I hate you, Bonnie, I hate you, Bonnie. He's retaliating against the victim for the anger of the memory of whatever he was having about Bonnie at that moment in time. D'Angelo was previously engaged to a woman named Bonnie. The last known crime linked to the Golden State Killer was 32 years ago. Do you think he ever stopped? I do think he stopped. Uh, I can't guarantee that, but in looking at the series, looking at how old D'Angelo was towards the end of the series, and the last attack that we know of, he is uh, 41 years old, 1986. There we go. While Holes has left law enforcement, he's still in high demand, and we might be hearing more from him soon. So we're going to be reading your book one day? I have a story to tell. He certainly does have an incredible story to tell. And even though Holes is officially retired now, he knows there are still a lot of unanswered questions about D'Angelo's past. From Nashville, Tennessee, Allie Wolf, Fox 40 News. And Fox 40 has been digging.